So, current rumor has it that Call of Duty 2021 is going to be a World War II game and is going to be made by Sledgehammer. The last COD game was a World War II game in 2017 and most people didn't like it. So now, now they're coming back at it with another World War II game four years later. You know, just, just a few months, actually no, not a few months ago. Actually, yeah, a few months ago in December, I made a video talking about why I think we should have at least one World War II game this generation. Did I manifest this into reality? Look, guys. Look, look. <laughs> you gotta understand, okay? World War II games, at least one per generation, it's a tradition of gaming, okay? It's a tradition of gaming. So I figured, at least one. But what we're getting now, or as it's rumored, going off of what Tom Henderson has said, he is very reliable, so even though the likeliness of this being true is very high, just for the sake of um, it not being officially confirmed, I'm gonna refer to it as rumors. But, guys, keep in mind, it, it was purely just a thought in my head of what I wanted. It, it, this isn't... I, it's not my fault, I swear! I swear it! But yeah, um... Another COD World War II game, only four years later, when World War II in 2017 came out nine years after World at War, so... Half the gap of waiting time for another COD World War II game, I mean... I remember thinking for a little bit here, yeah, Having another World War II game at some point, again, would be cool for at least Call of Duty, but I wasn't expecting it this soon. And even though I don't want a COD game this year, even though I want it to be delayed, because, man, we already know this game's gonna be an unfinished mess. It's gonna have all sorts of thick-ass skill-based matchmaking algorithms, or whatever it is, optimization, searching, whatever it's called now. There's a bunch of different terms and all, sh and all that shit. We know they're going to integrate it into Warzone, and that's probably going to be a fucking mess too. There's probably going to be issues with that. There's probably going to be another wave of hackers at that point. It's just going to be the same song and dance. It's going to be the same thing that's been happening as of late with Cold War. It's the same shit every single year, guys. I just, I just don't have any excitement at all. <laughs> Again, having another World War II game in any capacity for this generation? Okay, sure. Fine, I'm down for that. But, considering how the last entry went, I just don't know. And again, considering many other factors, I just don't know even more. I'm just... I just don't feel good about this. I really, really just don't feel good about this game. Yes, I'm aware of the overall that was done for World War II about three years ago. I, I, I know about that, but that was a little too little too late by that point. That was, what, six months after the game had come out? It released in November, December, January, February, March, April. Five months after it came out. Too little too late at that point, especially if, if you've spent $60 on, what, nine maps for that game at launch? You gotta spend another 15 on the map packs because that's before season passes and DLCs went away for COD. Thank God that's gone. I mean... That, that's not to say that free DLC has been absolutely perfect with COD. Like, far from it. A whole bunch of remade shit. A bunch of microtransactions that... Look, I get that attempting to stay true to the game's setting is hard when it comes to creative liberties, but I think that they're definitely overdoing it a little bit when it comes to how far they're going with items you could purchase or unlock in any way. I mean, you know, it works, clearly. I, I would rather have this over supply drops and all that shit. But then I see some people saying they'd rather have that over skill-based matchmaking. So then it's like, wh which evil do you take? Do you take the one that directly manipulates you when it comes to spending money? Or do you, t or do you play the one that doesn't more possibly, possibly with a bit more subtlety? Or just for the sake of keeping engagement with bad players? Which one? Which one sounds more appealing? Sweatiness, which just kills the fun of the game? Or pure, just unfiltered manipulation? Which one's better? Gambling? Or bad, unenjoyable gameplay? Which one? Which one is less fun? Well, you know, not the gameplay itself, but it's not as fun when the gameplay is being fucked over by how the game's currently working with the algorithms which one would you prefer <laughs> it's like the blue pill and the red pill <laughs> except you get one turd 
and another turd. <laughs> Which turd do you prefer? <laughs> you prefer loot, or you prefer sweat? Which one do you prefer? What's your preference, young one? <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to this game. Um, let's see what happens. Let's see how long it takes him to reveal this game. Who knows, maybe it'll take till like September to reveal this time. How much content is gonna be not there at launch? And how much of it is gonna be post free DLC? Or I'm sorry, free DLC? I, I would really like to know this early. You know, how many 6v6 maps are there gonna be, for example? Are, can we expect like, I don't know, a good five maybe? And how many of them are going to be remakes of Infinity Ward maps in particular? Because Sledgehammer seems to have a thing for that. Um, I would just really like to know this beforehand. And how many um, gunfight maps we'll have? If gunfight's even there at launch. Um, you know, I feel like I'm forgetting something that I want to say about this rumor. But I don't remember. I guess just <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck with this game, guys. I mean, at least Infinity War doesn't have to rush their game with only two years of development as opposed to now they get three. Because if they do, if Sledgehammer's game does for sure come out this year, which it's looking like that, that means Infinity War will get three years and then Treyarch three years as well. <sighs> doesn't change the fact that the series is still annual and it's bad for the series overall. So, um, yeah. COD 2021, World War II. What the hell are they going to even call it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That I was forgetting to say, which I just thought of again. What the hell are they going to even call this game? World War 2 2? World War 2, like, other factions? These are the other ones, guys. These are the other factions. The Russians, the British, the Japanese. They're all in this game. You get them here. Maybe it's a sequel to World War 2. Maybe World War 2 2 is a sequel to World War 2. So would that make, technically make it World War 3, or is it like World War 2 times 2, so it's World War 4? Call of Duty World War 4 takes place during World War 2 in an alternate dimension confirmed. Time travel is a thing in the campaign. I just solved it. We get World War 4 during World War 2. That, that's it. They, they took inspiration from the, the, uh, the Zambies and put it into this game. The Zambies infected everything. And now we're in World War IV. They skipped three. You know, they took inspiration from Gaben with that. They didn't want to touch three, so they went over to four. I don't know what's going on in this video, but point being is this game should be delayed. And therefore, the next two COD games would get four years development, but they'd all have many issues which would ruin them anyway, so it doesn't matter. I guess we'll see what happens with this game. I feel like if I do pick it up, it'll just be purely for the sake of the content. And making a review not because i'm actually looking forward to it but who knows maybe they'll get me hyped maybe i'll be on the hype train maybe i'll aboard the hype train this year choo choo maybe i'll be a part of it this year i don't know we'll see but yeah cod world war 2 2 2 2 i hope you're all on board for the call of duty 2 2 train because it's rolling into station only three months after the last game because everyone's already over Cold War. <laughs> it only takes three months to get sick of a COD game now. Man, I remember back when we used to play COD games for at least a year, if not multiple. And everyone was just still hyped about playing it years after the fact. No one gives a fuck about these newer games. It's like, actually no, Modern Warfare a lot of people do. But now it's like with Cold War... It's like, no one wanted the game to come out that year. Let's be real here. Maybe some did for zombies. But that's it. Um, But no, this game should be delayed. Just stop making this shit annual. I get it still works, but... Uh, one day, COD will stop being annual. But yeah, I expect nothing. <laughs> My expectations are incredibly low. The series has killed a lot of expectations lately. I'm just going in. Just all the way down. All the way down. I'm just snooping in. Is, is is it hype worthy no no they'll ruin it anyways that that's where i'm at right now so we'll see what happens with this game when it gets revealed in october and then comes out a week after that so yeah all in all those are my uh my my thoughts rest in peace 
on the rumors of COD World War II. Um, two. 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 Two, 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 two. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like or dislike it. Comment, subscribe for future content coming soon, as well as turn on the notification bell and set it to all notifications. Follow on social media. And I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.